Hello, I am Kendall B. I am your host for today and every other day. If you are returning here, thank you so much. And if you are new here, welcome to the family. If you would like to stick around, we talk about some creepy stuff on this channel. Currently, I'm actually doing a series about urban legends from different states. So if you want to see your state or a specific state, just leave it in the comments below and I will definitely get to that. <laughs> also, a lot of the sites that I use will be linked down below in the description if you'll be interested in reaching in, uh, in reading them. Uh. Now to hop straight into this legend, it is called The Monster of Elizabeth Lake. This lake is located right outside of LA and a lot of people will connect this lake to having really bad evil spirits. It's almost as if like, you know that bad gut feeling you get when, you know, something ain't right? It's like, that's kind of the vibe that I get from this. This is kind of like what is going on. A lot of people think that it has a lot of evil connections to it. Even saying that the devil himself made this lake. And if you swim down deep enough, you'll be able to find the passageway to hell. So yeah, it kind of just gives you a little bit of insight on how much people feared this lake and how deeply it was connected to just demonic beings and all that stuff. And you will definitely see why. So this is a very old urban legend, probably one of the oldest that I have personally researched on my own. It was created in 1880. Wow. A long time ago she a old girl so it was reported that somebody had seen a monster come out of this lake and just to read exactly what this monster looked like i will try to put up a picture somewhere it was pretty hard to find a picture of what this being looked like but it is said to have a head of a bulldog a neck of a giraffe bat wings and it's also 50 foot tall and it smells like decay so cute little thing ain't it so this thing had like a lot of sightings too like there were so many sightings of just weird creatures like this like flying through the skies and it was not just like a one and done there was a ton of scene for like a decade after the initial report it was seen for years and it got so bad to the point that people who lived around this lake would actually either completely abandon their homes or try to sell them off because they couldn't stand it. And those who tried to stay reported hearing a ton of really horrid screaming coming from the lake and had weird like visions and sightings. Now, I couldn't find exactly what they meant by this, but I assume that they probably saw something or had some type of dreams regarding the lake and what could have been in it. Where some of the breaking points came in and what honestly convinces a lot of people that this was real was that animals would start to mysteriously go missing and under weird circumstances as well and things that just couldn't really be brushed off as just a random animal attack like these animals would consistently go missing and nobody really knew why except for explaining it as being the lake and the creatures that were coming from it so in return of this big issue a ton of people started gathering around trying to catch these creatures that were coming out of this lake so a ton of ranchers people who were experiencing all these issues especially people who were just like living around and just sick of this going on would go out hunting like literally going towards it and that kind of just shows something to me because i think when i think of these things you know and a lot of urban legends is something that you want to avoid like my previous video um the clown like you were trying to avoid it you were told you know you're told stay away from this thing you know but with this specific situation a lot of people were trying to go out and get it like they were looking for it they were trying to hunt it down and kill it and apparently they did and they were able to get at least one of the creatures and kill it but unfortunately there haven't been really much recordings on if this actually happened because 
there hasn't been any physical proof that they actually did this. Now, if they did burn these creatures um, or even put them in another lake, uh, <laughs> you know, it would definitely be difficult to try to find the remains of them, but they have not been found to this day and there has not been any physical proof of them existing. That's a little creepy to me. I think if I lived around that and you heard random screaming, like I'm pretty sure there's, am I like tripping? I, I feel like there's, there's like something out there that's like that. Like, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Ah! I know there's something in the back rooms. There's there's something in the back rooms. I forgot the name of it. There's something in the back rooms where it like mimics human voice and stuff like that. And it can, you know, scream out to you and sound like it's an agonizing pain so that humans will come and they can snatch them up. So I just did some research. Skin stealers. That's what they're called. Skin stealers. That's what this is giving me. Back rooms. But I feel like there's another creature. I feel like there's another creature. I just can't think of it. Can't think of it. Um, but I also have another creepy fact about California, and that is the where Winchester. Yeah, the Winchester Mystery House. This house, if you heard of it, it's pretty popular actually. I'm pretty sure they do tour visits and everything like that. If you haven't heard of it, it's pretty much about how this woman had a ton of spirits telling her to build a house for them to live in and she just could not stand she just couldn't stand it and so when she built this house she purposefully made it like almost like a maze like there was stairways that would lead to nowhere and i also saw like a photo of like there was a door but it just like led straight outside and it was like on like the second floor or something just a home that didn't make very much sense and she did it for the purpose of confusing these spirits so that they wouldn't be able to focus on her as much rather focused on trying to just figure out the house and all the mazes and rooms that didn't make sense that she put in there i'm probably not explaining it in the best way if you do want a whole video about that i can also do that but i thought that was kind of creepy kind of cool i feel like i would want to visit it but at the same time i feel like i'd also be extremely scared extremely scared that concludes this video for today if you enjoyed it please let me know what else you would like me to do and love you bye <laughs>